A city brimming with uncertainty. This is what Damascus looks like this morning. There is little to give away the anxiety of the residents. Recent gains by rebels, Al-Qaeda and the ISIL has placed the Syrian government between a rock and a hard place. In March, the Syrian government lost the provincial capital of Idlib province. In April, the strategic city of Jisr Shugur followed. Then in May, Palmyra city, along with large parts of central Syria, fell in the hands of ISIL. But despite all of this, the Syrian army, along with the Lebanese Hezbollah, continued to operate along the Lebanese borders, taking hundreds of square kilometers of difficult terrain. It seems that the only steady factor in the Syrian war is its complexity. The current situation leaves the Syrian government with 12 out of 14 provincial capitals and in control of most of the country's population. But the government has lost control of almost every border crossing along the over 800 kilometers of borderline with Turkey. And this week, it also lost its last crossing with Iraq. The same goes for Jordan, where Al-Qaeda's Syrian branch on Nusra Front seized the last crossing point in April. Yet, it remains unclear how much each group controls. The opposition says ISIL controls 50% of the country, rebels 22%, and the government has the rest. But this is not accurate. ISIL controls the Syrian desert, which is one third of Syria's land area. But what does the control over empty deserts mean? All the major cities are still with the government. But the fight is far from over. The Syrian army continues to mobilize and recruit, struggling to keep order as Al-Qaeda and ISIL strike terror across the country. Sure, the situation is very difficult for the government, but it's not impossible. Damascus is better secured today than it was in 2012. The situation in Aleppo is also better, and if the government receives the push it needs from its allies, Russia with weapons and Iran with fighters, it can still bounce back. As the sun sets on Damascus, darkness engulfs the world's oldest continuously inhabited city. For most of its residents, the prospect of a bright tomorrow remains distant. Allah Abraham, CCTV, Damascus.